Example 6, for the channel cross-section shown, N is 0 0.014. What bed slope is required so that the flow will be steady at 17.2 cubic meters per second when the depth of flow is 1.5 meters? How about the required bed slope in a tunnel with water cross-sectional area of 17.75 square meters and the wetted perimeter 11.92 meters? The flow rate is 45. Point 3 cubic meter per second and n for its concrete lining is 0 0.013 so there are two different questions here but asking for this the required bed slope so this is the cross section of the first uh, situation so the depth of flow is so formula q equals area over n hydraulic radius to the two thirds slope to the one half let's develop a formula in terms of area and perimeter we replace hydraulic radius by area over wetted perimeter so that the formula in the formula for discharge in terms of area and perimeter is area to the five thirds slope to the one half over n perimeter to the two thirds. So we'll use this so that the slope of the energy grade line is also the slope of the bed because the flow is steady and of course uniform so s therefore is n square q square perimeter to the four thirds over area to the ten thirds n square by squaring everything q square perimeter to the four thirds over area to the ten thirds so we'll use this formula in this problem so let's compute for area and weighted perimeter so the depth of flow is 1.5 therefore this is 0.5 meter 1.5 minus 1 so 0.5 and we will call this portion of the length as x so remember that from here up to here is 5 8 minus 3 is 5 so by similar triangle x as to 0.5 equals 5 as to 1 where 1 is 2 minus 1 so x is 2.5 meters so that the area is 3 times 1.5 for the rectangular portion plus 1 half of 2.5 times 0.5 1 half of 2.5 is 0.5 of 2.5 times 0.5 so the area is 5.125 square meters the weighted perimeter beginning with this part is square root of 2.5 square plus 0.5 square plus 1 plus 3 plus 1.5 this is only 1.5 the wetted portion so the wetted perimeter is 8.05 meters substitute in our formula for s s therefore is 0 0.014 square then 17.2 square perimeter perimeter to the four thirds 8.05 to the four thirds over area 5.125 to the 10 thirds so s is so equals 0 0.004031 then for the second question same we use the same formula everything is given so s is n square q square perimeter to the four thirds over area to the 10 thirds so s is 0 0.013 square 45.3 square 11.92 to the 4 thirds over area 17.75 to the 10 thirds so the slope of the channel bed is 0 0.000673